thank you for giving us the opportunity to join the Advanced uh, Governance Institute on Student Success uh, via this video introduction. I'm Roy Church, the president of Lorain County Community College, and we are delighted to support uh, the Association of Community College Trustees in this student success uh, initiative. We benefited significantly from the first uh, Governance Institute in, for Student Success at Lorain County Community College. It contributed to many of the initiatives we already had underway. Uh, and the Board of Trustees have been very actively involved in the process uh, of, of creating this focus on student success as well as engendering a whole set of initiatives to try to respond effectively to enhance student success at Lorain County Community College. This board has, uh, like uh, the boards uh, prior to us, has been very engaged and very proactive and has uh, put at the top of their priority list uh, uh, the measurement of student success and education of our, of our uh, constituency. Uh, and to that end, uh, we dedicate two full meetings a year, two full work sessions, all volunteer basis by these uh, trustees uh, with the input of staff and administration and we review a document called the factors of effectiveness. This is a uh, multi-page document, about three dozen pages and it just goes over every item, every aspect and then we further drill down into that data and, and develop questions and then from those questions and from those presentations this has been the impetus, uh, the creation for many of the developmental education programs uh, that we've come up with. The GISS program was fascinating in its scope and scale and it provided us with uh, a lot of data, but the data forced us to ask uh, a lot of questions about uh, what we're doing as far as student success goes. The interesting thing was that as we got into our breakout sessions, we real, realized that um, there were gaps, there were shortcomings, the data was incomplete in the context of helping us realize what we really wanted to know. But it, it opened up a lot of doors for us to uh, drill down and continue to drill down and analyze um, our student base to see um, what our numbers were and to basically realize also that uh, our completion rates uh, were uh, lower than what we had anticipated. So um, this helped us uh, frame the right questions and ask a lot of questions um, and also enabled us to develop some partnerships with um, Sinclair and Stark, enabling us to apply for and become uh, part of the Ohio cadre for the completion by design program of which we're currently very involved with the Gates Foundation. One of the things that we have done is to meet with representatives of the community. We have community connection sessions as former Chairman Sherman alluded to and during those sessions, the most recent of which involved members of the school boards from, and superintendents from the various uh, school districts throughout Lorain County. Uh, one of the things that we all agreed on is we need to do more to make sure that the students that are entering Lorain County Community College and any other college for that matter uh, are adequately prepared and do not need to take the number of remedial courses that we find them uh, having to take at this juncture so that they can become uh, acquainted with the, uh, with the uh, requirements of college experience and also that they are able to then take college level courses without further remedial efforts. We're on schedule, you know, for uh, within the next five years to hit our 40 to 60 percent completion number, which is state leading, if not nationwide leading. It's important as uh, trustees of the institution to enable um, 
the organization to have the appropriate resources necessary in order to pull this off. It's easy to talk about it, but it's not cheap. And um, we therefore, in our most recent meeting, uh, approved a career advantage fee, which will help fund the cost of getting students ready and ready to be, uh, to, to know uh, what involves college, what entails their education, their career direction and focus, and as a result, um, ensuring our higher completion rates downstream. This is not a passive exercise, that it's been a collaborative effort. It just isn't the Board of Trustees and the senior administration talking about this stuff. And I would use convocation as a perfect example. The keynote speaker went right to the issues of remediation, retention, student success, graduation, completion rates, finances, and that involved the entire faculty and staff and Senate. So. Uh, the success is that everybody needs to buy into this and we're very fortunate here at this institution that everybody is on board. I would like uh, all of the participants in the advanced GISS conference to know how important the work was that we did in the first conference with Dr. Narcissa Polonio and ACCT in helping us to uh, narrow our focus and to make substantial progress. And we believe that it's helped uh, move us uh, forward in very significant ways as indicated by these conversations. So we wish you well uh, in your advanced conference and we look forward to learning from you uh, in the future. So thank you very much.